Motors. Welcome to another in our series of Truck Vaults Extreme Hunts with Mark Kaiser. This week, Mark and some very special guests are hunting quail in New Mexico. There's no doubt about it. I love big game hunting, but some of the hunts I look forward to each year are the Truck Vault Hero Hunts. And that's where we take a member of the law enforcement community or soldiers out and treat them to a great hunt somewhere across this great country of ours. Now this year, I got to team up with Bob King at the Santa Fe Guiding Company at Fleece Canyon Ranch. Our goal was to take a couple of soldiers out and show them some of the great quail hunting in the desert country. Extreme hunts demand quality optics, and that's why when Americana Outdoors heads into the field, we choose to hunt with Nikon Sport Optics. For the complete line of Nikon Optics, including the EDG series, we encourage you to visit Cabela's. Check them out online at cabelas.com, or give them a call at their toll-free number and request a copy of their free catalog. Americana Outdoors will be right back with more from our Montana elk hunt right after these messages. Before you head out here, get to Cabela's for gear that's tested, field tested, and proven. Field proven. No matter what your passion, you can trust our gear. It's guaranteed. And our selection? Legendary. Get top of the line brands at bottom line prices. With three ways to shop, count on Cabela's. World's foremost outfitter. There's more to life than hunting and fishing. Oh, who are we kidding? Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. Locked and loaded with big game hunting, upland birds, waterfowl, and all the hot fishing action you can handle. Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. The greatest of the great outdoors. Rated T for Teen. Do All Outdoors is proud to announce the release of EvoPod Shooting Sticks. With three models to choose from, the monopod, bipod, and the tripod, you'll have at your disposal the most complete spot and stalk shooting sticks ever invented. All three models have telescoping legs that are simple to operate, and each EvoPod system comes with a newly invented switchback mount, so you can easily switch from your spotting scope to your gun in seconds with just a flip of your thumb. The EvoPod Shooting Stick System by Do All Outdoors. Hey, if you're planting seeds for food plots, gardens, or grass, you got to use Delta Ag Seed Coat. Just one four-ounce scoop or a packet like this can do up to 50 pounds of seed. Sprinkle the powder over the seed, stir it in, and plant your crop. That's all it is to it. You'll get more plants out of the ground quicker with better roots. This means more drought resistance, more nutrient uptake, and the result, healthier plants. Farmers have used it for years. Give your plants a great start with Seed Coat from Delta Ag. Let your fingers do the talking with Extreme Dimension Wildlife Calls. From inexpensive mini calls to high-end wireless calls, we offer a complete line of electronic calls. Our Phantom Pro Series is the leader in high-quality digital call technology. And the Mini Phantom is the smallest call in its class and offers many advanced features not usually found on an affordable compact unit. All models can play two sounds simultaneously and feature interchangeable sound sticks to give you instant access to a variety of game calls. Extreme Dimension Game Calls. One call calls them all. Americana Outdoors is presented to you in part by Extreme Dimensions Wildlife Calls. One call calls them all. By Garmin International. We'll get you there. And by Do All Outdoors Field Tested and Guide Rated. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. This ranch has been involved with training military forces now for several years. People that are actively going overseas to serve our country. My father was a 37-year career Air Force officer. When this chance came for heroes, I thought immediately towards the military. We want birds up in the air. We're gonna find out here in a second shooting skeet that we're always shooting behind the birds. So any low-flying birds most likely has one of our dogs right behind it chasing it. I got called up uh, by the secretary for the adjutant general of the New Mexico Guard, and uh, they asked me if I you know, was interested in going on this hunt with you. And, I actually, I, I grew up hunting with my father, so I've never been on a quail hunt or bird hunt for that matter, and 
uh, definitely interested me, so I said yes, and it's been quite an experience. So, you know, up in the air, let's shoot birds that have blue sky behind them, let's shoot birds that are off the horizon, and uh, just muzzle control, muzzle control, muzzle control, muzzle control. We're going to be hunting around nearby each other. We're wearing orange hats, so hopefully we catch the, you know, in the periphery of the guy standing next to us. Well, about a, a week ago, as a matter of fact, it wasn't that long ago, I got a phone call from the Adjutant General's office who told me that I had been selected to attend this hunt. And uh, it came out of the blue, I had no idea. I'd never been on a bird hunt before, so I was very excited to participate. Let's throw some clay pigeons and try to figure if we can even hit something in the air. <laughs> and then uh, we'll try to, try to take that newly acquired skill into the field and try to hit some birds that don't want to get hit in the air. Before we hit the fields, we hit the skeet range. We threw a few clay pigeons out there just to see if everybody was on their game. I think you're shooting a little, little high off it. So get right into it. And Okay, pull the gun up. And mount it right and up, and then pull it into your cheek. Put and look, your cheek yeah, down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you're looking down, okay? Okay. Now drop it back down here again. And pull it up and do that again. Okay, drop it down. Pull it up and do it again. This is my first quail hunt, or bird hunt, and I, uh, I grew up shooting shotgun with my father doing the ski play targets and, and I, I was pretty decent at that and just this was different but I think doing that target practice like that gave me the confidence where I wasn't shy to take shots. There you All go. Right, good man. Yeah. Well that didn't take much. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say I thought it was a pretty good shot because I never thought it was but uh, uh, going on this hunt really uh, showed me how weak I am when it comes to my shotgun work. The two soldiers, they were pretty good at their M4s, but they needed just a little refresher course with shotguns. But as shooting experts, it didn't take them long, and they were busting clays like pros. There you go. Oh. These guys are scaring me. They're better shots than I thought they'd be. <laughs> oh! Oh. Well, I think you're on. I'm done. I can't do any better than that. We didn't waste any more time with the fake birds. It was time to go after the real birds up in the hills of New Mexico. Yeah, you see all the quail, so why don't you guys just move towards them. Mark, you see the ones going up on the hill up yep. there? And there's some over here. So we got a big group of them. Let's just go span out attack them, go across the fence. When they flush and go down into there, we'll bring the dogs. Okay. But they come off the ground. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Why don't you want to take the middle? Okay. Yeah, and I'll, I'll wing out on the side. You guys yeah. go right into the heart of them, I'll wing wide. Be careful going over this fence, everybody. You know, in the military, they train you about, you know, when you're in a firefight, watching your sectors and knowing your limits and uh, muzzle coverage and all that and with this you kind of have to apply it more out here because you know we're hunting on the line you got five four or five guys you really have to pay attention and apply that to where you're pointing your muzzle and where you're gonna fire and it's kind of been interesting you know taking that military training and then applying it over here with this hunt. We pulled up to this water tank where the cattle had been watering there was a little overflow and quail started scattering like barnyard chickens. And I got to thinking, is it gonna be this easy everywhere we go? And both Jason and I, we nailed birds right off the bat. That's Look at how beautiful good, scaling on those. That's a pretty good start to the day. Yes, it is. This is a rooster. With the White chin. With... It's wider. Okay. This one's striped hen. Ten or young in the year. Hmm. Well, I got lucky on this hunt because the first covey we got into, I was able to actually kill one or two quails right off the bat. So that set the tone for the rest of the weekend. We'll uh, go over the.